Yo, what's up guys? So in this tutorial, I'll be showing how you can do the effect shown at the start. So yeah, stay tuned. So what you want to do first is you want to get your clip and you want to sync it with the beat drop to whatever song you're using. So for me, I'm using this song by Chef G to Night 2. So it's going to be like this right now. So that's just the impact and the velocity. You guys have to make your own impact or whatever, use someone else's, whatever you want to do, and then put your velocity. So and after, once you're done that, you want to go on the beat drop where you split your clip for the impact and you want to click, double click here and type minus 30 frames. Well, you don't have to write frames obviously, but just do minus 30. And then you're going to be over here on the clip before the impact, right? So then you're going to split it, clicking S on your keyboard, or you could just right click and press split here. It doesn't show up like as it works because I already did it. So now you're 30 frames back. So what you want to do is you want to press this button right here. And this is what you're going to do now. So the masking, you don't have to, but if you want to, it's going to take time, obviously. But first, what you want to do is you want to press for you guys. It's probably going to be unchecked like this. You want to press this check mark on the masking. And if you want, you could get the glow all around the character. But that's going to take time to do because you have to do it for 30 frames. Or what you could do is by like in the tutorial on the effect shown like at the start. I just did this way. So what you have to do is you want to go on top. Like you have to put your thing here and you want to use the circle one. Not this one, because this one, this one's for like going around the character, but we're not doing that. We're just going to do it easier. Like we're just going to do it like this. So first you want to make sure you press on this one, oval or circle mask, this one, the tool. And you're going to go above the character. You're just going to do all the way down like this. But you want to make sure you get like the character's head in. So for example, you could just go like this. Yeah, just go like this. There you go. You could have it like this. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure frame by frame, the character is always in the picture like this. The gun doesn't have to be included in it. It could just be the character. So, like here, just get the arm in and whatever. So, like, just move it a bit here or something. Just gonna fix it up a bit. Alright, so once you're done doing that, whatever, mine's not perfect because I didn't really take my time with it because I just want to show you guys how to do it. So now, what you want to do is you're going to press this button over here where it says feather type. You're going to put both and you're going to, the feather percentage, you're going to put 20. So it's going to look like that. Now, you're going to hold control and drag this up. Now, what you want to do is type up here S underscore edge detect. You must have Sapphire plugins. If you do not have Sapphire plugins, then you obviously can't do this. So now I'm going to have like, like that, you see? So you're going to drag, I'm going to leave the preset in the description, but I have it like up here, like S underscore edge detect, but I'm going to leave the preset so you guys can just press this button and find it. So yeah, here, or you could just do it manually. I'll leave my settings too. So you're going to drag it on the top here. And then these are my settings. So if you want, just jot them down. Or you could just do my preset that I'm going to leave in the description. Or not in the description. Oh, yeah, 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 in the description. 
So these are my settings, just copy them down, pause the video. Now you're going to have something like this. So what you want to do now is you want to press this button over here because you copied it up here. So the masking is going to be black, like in the, like you're just going to see a black screen around. So you're going to press here and you're going to right click and click reset mask. So you're just going to have it like that. Also, what you want to do is here, it's because I did it like, you see how I had frames for it because I changed the thing. You just want to, every frame that shows like the thing, wait, I'm just going to delete these actually. Wait. Delete. Delete. Okay, so it's gonna be like something like this. Okay. I just need to change this. Both 20. And then I just need to Okay, yeah, because as you see, I put all these frames here, so I'm just going to delete them real quick, and then it should be fine. Okay, so now, you see, it's going to look like that. Now, what you want to do, so now you should have your character looking like this. If you mask it like that, it's just going to look perfect like this. So now what you want to do is if you want to add like a build up like that it's going to be like like for example you could just like search up black and white and you could drag the default one in and you could just press animate and go all the way to the end and put this to max. So now it's going to be like this. You see? How it gets started. It's it be like that. So now you have the build up. So if you want like a flicker type, like how mine was in the start, you could just go five frames in. So you go one, two, three, four, five, and then split. And then do it, I think, five more times. Because, yeah, you do it five more times because 30, I just did one. So you go one, two, three, four, five. 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 Boom. So now you're going to have all these. So what you want to do now is you're going to do the same thing for the one right under. You can just go here, split. You don't have to count five again. Just click where this one was. So then you're going to have something like this. It's still going to look the same though. Make sure you fix this down here where it fades in. Sometimes Vegas Pro likes to put like fade-ins like this. I don't know why. Okay, it's fine. Well, I'll just ignore that for now. But if you want, just, just do that or whatever. Okay, so now what you want to do is after every, like, uh, like every second one after, you're going to lower the opacity to zero. By doing that, you just have to press here where it says opacity. You see it says opacity is 100. You drag it all the way down. So then it's going to look like this. And then you're going to do that for the one right under. And you're going to do that for the song too. So make sure you split like this, like this, like that. So now it's going to look like this. It's going to be a black screen. And you're just going to do that for every second one. Like, see there's like a pattern. One, two, one, two. And you're going to do it like for this one too. And then you're going to do that for the song and the audio too, like for the clip. So you see? Now it's going to look like this. So that's how you basically do the effect and the build up. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys want me to do like a red one as well, just let me know. I could probably do one too. Cause like I like the blue one, but if you guys want a red one, just let me know, and I'll up uh, I'll upload one like as soon as possible.
Thank you for watching. Hope this helped, and yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed.